class, welcome back. It's me, Dr. Orwell. Now I've got a special little treat for you guys today. I uh, know we're learning about safe class objects, but I managed to get a hold of one just for a little visual aid for this class. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> oh, look at this thing. It looks just like a pencil sharpener. Looks just like mine, actually. Isn't that cool? Now, uh, just because this object is safe, make sure not to touch it. Alrighty? Say it with me now. An, An object's object class, class is not, not the same, same as, as its hazard level. level. Very good. Excellent. Now, uh, I'm going to read you the file here, then we're going to do a couple of uh, experiments on it, because we've been authorized to. That's pretty exciting. Object number, SCP-1307. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1307 is to be kept in a standard hazardous object containment storage at Site-19. No pencils shall be stored or brought within six meters of the object. Under no circumstances outside of testing should a pencil be placed in the hole in the front of SCP-1307, unplugged or otherwise. I hope you folks are taking notes with pens today. I'm serious, though. Take, please take notes with pens today. This thing is dangerous. Description. SCP-1307 is a standard black electric sharpener with a standard size receiving hole. Hey, quit, quit giggling. A standard size receiving hole and a loading bay underneath designed to catch pencil shavings. On its back is a standard electric cord, which appears to be functionless. SCP-1307 will still activate whether or whether or not it's unplugged. SCP-1307 is activated in a similar manner to a conventional electric sharpener. <laughs> That's an understatement. By inserting a standard size pencil into the hole in the front, the effect will not be activated by pens, pencil sharpened tools, rods, or redacted. Note that the effect will be activated by mechanical pencils. Upon an individual inserting a pencil into SCP-1307, the subject will find themselves unable to remove their hands from the pencil. All attempts to pry the hand from the pencil will fail, and the only way to remove the individual from contact is whew, amputation of the hand. That's pretty rough. SCP-1307 is active. It adheres itself to the surface on which the pencil is located and will not move. Additionally, the pencil becomes completely unbreakable. Once the pencil is sharpened down to the point where the individual's hand is located, SCP-1307 will continue to draw the pencil in, enlarging the hole as far as needed to take in the hand of the subject. <laughs> but it doesn't stop there, guys. As the subject's hand is drawn in, it's sharpened along with the pencil, shredding the limb in the process. SCP-1307, through the course of several tests, has demonstrated the ability to tear through a full human body in the course of four hours. Now that's faster than hydrochloric acid, wouldn't you believe it? Despite severe blood loss, subjects are kept alive until the brain is destroyed by SCP-1307, at which point the subject's vital functions absolutely cease. SCP-1307 then continues to take in the rest of the body and shred the entirety of the corpse. Afterwards, the only blood is left in the area is any that did not land in the vicinity of SCP-1307. Any blood spilled on, inside, or near SCP-1307 seemingly vanishes along with the rest of the subject's body. Attempts to send trackers through the subject have proven fruitless as the trackers are shredded along with the individual. SCP-1307 was recovered at Blank Elementary in Blank, Colorado. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be that, teacher. Now, uh, I guess it's time to return this bad boy, so, um... Now, uh, class, do you happen to remember which of these pencil sharpeners was, uh, was the actual SCP? I put them so close together, <laughs> wouldn't you believe it? Um, well, let's see here. Oh, man. They're gonna yell at me for this one. <laughs> 